all right so what we have here i'm going to talk about a little bit of a change we have on the idot and auto dot is we've got modular cutting blocks now this is for the guys that don't want to change the thickness uh, of their cutters or don't want to change the angle because maybe they run two or three main calibers this allows them to get multiple cutting head assemblies and bolt on and the repeatability uh, will stay uh, with that because it's all as a modular unit so as you can see here this whole cutting head assembly is separate so the original design we had a cross slide here and the cutter block attached to that and then you had a lid attached to that so that was all a permanent piece that you have to change the cutters out on uh, and then reset all your thicknesses if you're changing shoulder angles so what we're going to do we're going to show how this all works we're going to cut some 308 here you can see it's got a uh, 20 degree shoulder angle cutter in there for the 308 You can see here. I can get a focus here. Oh, that's the cut inside and out. We'll measure it. Okay, 12 -0. Okay, now let's say we want to cut some uh, 6547 cases. Shoulder angle's different. Thickness is, oh, not that one. 6547, shoulder angle's different. Thickness is different. The position of the neck is different. So we're gonna show how to change that. We're gonna include the necessary uh, Allen wrenches to do this. Now, if you notice, there's an asterisk next to these three screws. Those are the only ones that you want to uh, Remove to change the cutter block. Okay, so we're going to do that here. You've got one 1032 screw in the center and the back here. And then you've got two quarter 20 cap screws. So you can see there, now you see the dowel pins, so everything goes back on precision. So that's the one we took off. Okay. Now we're going to put this head on. You see it snaps on tight. I mean, there's no wiggle. Everything is dialed in. The repeatability is just uh, next to nothing as far as error. That's a 35 degree cutter now. So now, just put the bolts back in that originally took out, snug them up, they don't need to be super tight, everything's dowel pinned in, so nothing's going to move on you. Okay, so now, just like that, and we've already pre-set up a shoulder stop. You know the micrometer comes with it you could actually take this micrometer and mount off and put it on multiple cutter blocks uh, to save cost because um, once it's set you don't really need to adjust it okay so now we're going to change the case holder put the collet tool in get the collet nut wrench put in the back Take that loose, give it a whack on the back, tilt it forward. See, we've taken 
that case holder out. We have a 47 case holder going in. The call it tool, the wrench on the back, snug that up. Make sure you always put your uh, case holder in about flush with the end of the call it, roughly flush. And then so they're all inserted now. We're going to put some 47 brass in. We're going to change the position of our cutter head. That's going to look here. See, we're pretty, pretty close there. Bring that back to where it just starts to cut on the inside because our thickness is already you can see we're just starting to cut on the inside so now we'll make the cut We'll measure the thickness of this. Let me show you guys here. So we'll focus right here. You see the quality of the cut. We'll check our thickness here. four so you can see you know 11 four 11 five was the preset thickness so as you want to swap between different cartridges we have a modular way of, of doing that um, so you guys can purchase extra uh, you know cutter blocks a lot of you guys already buy multiple cutters um, and you can buy just the cutter block itself if you want to swap your shoulder stop bracket over same with the micrometer or you can buy this whole assembly separate and uh be able to just interchange them without having to swap different parts so anyways that's us showing you the new modular cutting block design